Here's a very interesting type of integral. Uh, it's the integral of tan x dx. And uh, so, you know, it doesn't you know seem too large or overbearing, you know, at first glance. But um, you start looking at it and you, you start saying to yourself, OK, what what function when I take its derivative would give me tangent? Um, a lot of students natural inclination uh, at first is to say secant squared. Um, I, I can't tell you how many times I've given a problem like this on a test or in a homework and have students reply secant squared. But that's not it because the derivative of tangent is secant squared, not the integral of tangent. Um, and so you start thinking through all your trig functions and you, you come to the conclusion that uh, I, I don't remember anybody whose derivative was tangent. Uh, I can take the derivative of tangent, but that's that's not what I'm looking for. So it's kind of a, a head scratcher. So it's like, what what do we do here? Well, one common theme for a lot of indefinite integrals is you have to rewrite these guys before the integration is possible. Um, our rules are so limited. We have so few rules that, um, you know, rewriting is a very common theme uh, to actually work these problems out. So uh, with that little hint, let's think, okay, how, how can I rewrite tangent? Well, the only thing I can immediately think of is, well, I know that tangent is sine over cosine. So we'll, we'll start with that. So I have sine x divided by cosine x dx. Okay. And you look at that and you say, well, that doesn't really help that much either because uh, now I've got a fraction and there isn't a quotient rule for integration. Uh, but then, you know, it dawns and you say, hey, wait a minute. Uh, log rule uh, is sometimes used when you have fractions, right? Because you're trying to fashion a du over u. Uh, and, and furthermore, sine in some capacity could be something like the derivative of cosine. We might have some details to work out, but they're the derivatives of each other, you know, minus some sine changes and, and what have you. So it turns out, you know, of all things, this is a log rule problem. This is a log rule problem. It's a very popular problem, you know, uh, given in, you know, almost every calculus textbook that I can think of uh, and somewhere in, in the textbook. So anyways, um, how would we make this into a log rule? Let's let's um, hash out the details. If we decide if this is log rule, we'll let the u be the denominator because we're trying to fashion du over u. And so the u would be cosine x and the du would be um, negative sine x, negative sine x. Now, unfortunately, I just have a sine x, but that's not a big deal. If you need a negative, give yourself one. Just make sure on the outside of the integral, you balance it with another negative so that you know it stays equivalent to tangent because we could pull this negative out. It'll cancel with the negative we have on the outside and you'd be right back where you started. All right, so um, this guy was simplified now to um, the uh, negative, uh, the integral of basically 1 over u du. Now, what did I just do there? Well, the negative sine x dx, all that comes out as a packet. And forgive me, I forgot to write a dx here earlier. Uh, negative sine x dx, all that comes out together and is equivalent to du. So all I did was I just pulled the du off to the side, which leaves an understood one you know, in the numerator. All right, now we're almost home free. Uh, just tidy up some details. Integral of 1 over u would be the natural log of the absolute value of u. Let's not forget that absolute value symbol uh, plus c. And as what we do with all u substitution problems is we will take the u out and replace it with the original function. In this case, I believe it was cosine. All right, cosine. Um, this is more or less your answer. There's one other small thing we could do. Uh, this is this is pretty slick, but it's a, a good idea. I, th I think you're. Your teacher would be very, very impressed if you notice this here. Um, logarithms have this nice property that if you have a coefficient like a, a negative one or a one half or a two or something like that, this can be drugged back up into the exponent and made a, a power of whatever is on the inside here. And so we could actually rewrite this as the natural log of the absolute value of one over cosine, one over cosine which will be secant, and I forgot my x, forgive me, uh, secant of x plus c. 
And so by moving this negative up into the exponent, it goes away in front of the natural log function, looks a lot cleaner. And sure enough, you can, you can uh, check me on this, but this guy's derivative, this guy's derivative would be tan x. And so if you ever wanted to know what the uh, indefinite integral for tangent was, well, there we go. We just figured it out.